Hi, hello everyone. This is Chakit from VAC Global Education. In this video, I am going to give you some tips if you are from a high risk state in India for Australia, if you are planning to apply for your visa for Feb 24 intake or the coming intakes. So Australia is quite strict when it comes to the financials and financials plays a major, major role when it comes to the admission process. So if you are from the high risk state in India, then these are the tips for you. So what are high risk states in India? So let's start with knowing what all the states which are in high risk in India. So Haryana, Punjab, few parts of Hyderabad, then UP, especially Rudrapur, Pilibit area, then Uttarakhand and Rajasthan, especially Sri Ganganagar. These are the high risk areas. If you are planning to study in Australia and you are from any of these regions, then you need to be extra careful about your profile. Otherwise, getting the visa for Australia will be very, very difficult for you. Any student who is not from these areas, they are good to go. So if you are from Delhi, Mumbai, Maharashtra, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh or any part of these, the country, be it West Bengal, you are good to go. You don't have to worry about your visa chances because then you will not be in the high risk state. Now, the another important thing what you need to be careful of is the financials. Financials will play a very, very important and major role when it comes to the visa approval. So your family income plays a very important role. So if you are planning to study in Australia for the coming intakes, you need to make sure that your financials are sorted and ITRs will play a major role the amount on your ITR combined for your parents and for your siblings has to be above 12 lakhs. So 10 to 12 lakhs is the minimum ITR what you need to have no matter if you have like 50 lakhs in your saving account, but if it is not supported by 10 to 12 lakhs of ITR, then then the university will not give you the GT clearance and you will not be able to proceed further and your application will stop. So you need to make sure that when you are filing your ITR, you need to make sure that you pay some tax and make your ITR a little higher so that you would be able to prove to the immigration that you have financial stability. So student who have studied from, let's say I'm giving you an example, the student who has studied from Haryana, say Karnal, they have done their class 10th and 12th from Haryana Karnal and now they have taken the admission somewhere say in Delhi or somewhere in South. GT concern will be there that how come your qualification, your basic qualification work from your own local state and now why you have go gone for graduation in some other part of the country. This is because the immigration thinks that your degree might not be the original one. You, it might be a fake degree which you have got it from somewhere, arranged the documents. So you need to make sure that you have all the valid reasons for everything and anything what you are doing in order to make sure that university understands that this is a genuine case and you are a genuine student. Your address should match and everything should be aligned. Now, if you are from the metro cities, if you will apply for RMIT, Wollongong, Newcastle, then University of uh, this Macquarie University, you will have higher chances of getting the visa and especially from the group of eight. So group of eight is the universities which are highly ranked in Australia, which comes under the top 100 universities in the world. If you will apply for group of eight, you will have higher chances of getting the visa. I'm sure you will have a lot of uh, questions regarding the GT eligibility if you are from higher risk state. Then what you can do is you can get in touch with us. Uh, there is a number given in the description, also a link through which you guys can connect with us and we can help you sort out your funding. We can guide you different ways how you will be able to uh, get your Australia student visa. So if you are looking forward to study in Australia for the coming intakes, all you need to do is there's a link given in the description, click that link and we will help you with your queries and we will make sure that you reach Australia for the coming intakes. If you have any questions, write it in the comment section or just click that link and get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you for watching this video and be extra careful if you are from high risk state in India and connect with us so that we can help you with the entire process. Looking forward for your messages. Take care. Bye bye.